AQA, A-Level Physics. This is the first video about waves and it's about progressive waves. Um, in the first few videos, it's very, very much going over GCSE stuff. Um, you should be really familiar with that. I will go over it, but don't expect anything too tricky for a few videos to come anyway. So, uh, some excellent stuff on the internet. These FET, P-H-E-T, University of Colorado simulations. And this one, this is a screenshot from uh, Wave on a String. And it shows this wave, this progressive wave. Uh, and it's a transverse wave on a string. And there's an oscillator. And you'll see the oscillator moves the string up and down. Now, the center of oscillation is, if the wave wasn't there, where the string would be. So we are displacing the end of the string. So we have displacement, uh, and it's the displacement from the center of oscillation. And this wave is traveling from left to right. That is the direction of propagation, the direction the wave is traveling in. It is propagating in that direction. Okay, this is a progressive wave. Uh, a progressive wave, basically, it travels from A to B. Okay, it goes from one place to another. Later on, we're going to talk about standing waves, but don't worry about standing waves yet. This is a progressive wave. It goes from A to B. There's a bunch of terms that you need to know. You need to know the definition of them. So lambda, Greek letter lambda, is the wavelength. Then we have the amplitude, we have the frequency, the period, the velocity. Have a go writing down the definition yourself, and I will show you in three, two, one. Okay, lambda, it's the distance between adjacent points that oscillate in phase. So if you look at lambda on the diagram, those two points on the wave go up and down together. They oscillate in phase. So the distance between two points next to each other that oscillate, that go up and down together in phase. Uh, the amplitude is the maximum displacement, uh, and that is from the middle, from the center of oscillation. Uh, the frequency is the number of wavelengths which pass a point every second. Uh, the period is the time for one complete oscillation, and the velocity is just how fast it's traveling. So this idea of phase, you don't really, you don't talk about the phase of a wave, you talk about phase difference. Like two different points on a wave, what is their phase difference? Later on, we'll talk about two different waves and what is the phase difference between them. I think a, a useful way of understanding it, if you think of these kiddies on swings, and if they're swinging together, if they have the same displacement at the same time, so they are swinging together, they are in phase. And phase can be measured in degrees or radians. You should know that 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. Here's a little question. Have a think about this. Uh, looking at this graph here, two points which are a wavelength apart. Uh, two points that oscillate in antiphase. So the, the phase difference is 180 or pi. And then two points that oscillate with a phase difference of pi over 2. And the answers are. OK, so C and E. A wavelength doesn't have to be from crest to crest or trough to trough. It can be any two points on the wave which oscillate in phase. <clears throat> two points that oscillate in antiphase, B and D, they kind of do the opposite of each other. And then pi over 2, A and B. That's a quarter of a wavelength. Look at these two graphs. Don't get them muddled up. They are completely different. They are both displacement, but one of them is displacement against distance. The other is displacement against time. 
And notice that on the top graph, that distance is a wavelength. On the bottom graph, that is the period. OK, and the period is the time for one oscillation uh, and an important equation T equals one over F. The period is one over the frequency. The frequency is one over the period. They are the reciprocal of each other. T equals one over F. <coughs> The other important equation from GCSE, V equals F lambda. If we're talking about electromagnetic waves, and in the specification it actually says C equals F lambda, if it's electromagnetic, travelling in a vacuum, but generally V, velocity, equals F lambda, frequency times wavelength. Okay, uh, have a go at this question yourself. And I will show you the answer in three, two, one. OK, so V equals F lambda to get the speed. Uh, and then the period is one over the frequency, 0 0.5 seconds. Another example. Have a go at this yourself. I'll show you the answer in three, two, one. And there you go. Just using these equations, make sure you do these examples, get used to them, okay? And a couple more which involve electromagnetic waves. And I will show you the answer in three, two, one. And there you go. So lambda is C over F this time, and in the bottom one, F equals C over lambda where C is 3 times 10 to the 8. We say that's the speed of electromagnetic waves in a vacuum. Uh, electromagnetic waves in air, it's pretty much almost exactly the same. A tiny, tiny, tiny little bit less.